Okay, what we have before us for the rest of the afternoon is that first we're going to hear from a number of, um, of people who um, um, represent or can provide perspective from government agencies about biofuels and human health. And then um, we'll have a bit of time for discussion and then a summary um, by our um, roundtable chair, Frank Loy. So to lead this off, I'm going to start by introducing um, our afternoon panel. And I hasten to say one of the panelists who's not up here will be up here in time to speak. He has a brief phone call he had to do. So starting with John Balbus. John Balbus is a physician who is a senior advisor to the director of the NIEHS on public health issues. And he serves also as a liaison to many of his, its external constituencies, stakeholders, and advocacy groups. He also is the leader for the NIEHS efforts on climate change and human health. Dr. Balbus has had a very interesting career. He was chief health scientist for the Environmental Defense Fund. Prior to that, a professor at the George Washington University School of Public Health, where he was the director of the Center for Risk Science and Public Health. And um, also um, prior to that, um, he um, um, had um, actually some time where he served in the military. He has an MD from the University of Pennsylvania and an MPH from the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. Um, Daniel Cassidy, although it says David on one point in the program, we apologize for that. I have to say I have a brother named David and a brother named Daniel. I mix up those names all the time and maybe that's what happened. Um, he is the USDA's Office of Chief Scientist Senior Advisor for Renewable Energy and Natural Resources. He spoke at, at um, our meeting earlier and so I'm not going to go through his an entire bio, except to say um, that he did receive his PhD in natural resources from the University of Tennessee, and um, that um, he has been the national program leader for the forest-based bioenergy um, group um, um, in um, the National Institute of Food and Agriculture. Third, we will have Chris Portier. He's a PhD. Um, um, in biostatistics from the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Um, Dr. Portier has been director of the National Center for Environmental Health and the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry at um, the um, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. And before that, he was with the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences where he um, was um, an investigator in the field of systems biology, um, also the head for a while of the National Toxicology Program, and um, has been um, very much a, a leader in developing innovative approaches to the assessment of, um, of um, environmental risk. And then last, we have Mr. Carl Simon, who is the Director of the Transportation and Climate Division of the Office of Transportation and Air Quality at the US EPA. His portfolio includes work with renewable fuels, voluntary programs like SmartWay, and modeling and forecasting of mobile source emissions trends. At EPA, he has also served as director of the Compliance and Innovative Strategies Division, where he was responsible for managing the certification, registration, and compliance activities associated with all engines and fuels sold in, in the United States. He has a BS of Aerospace Engineering from the University of Notre Dame, I guess a rocket scientist, um, a law degree from the George Mason University School of Law, and a master's in environmental law from George Washington University. I want to welcome our panel, and um, I think um, just invite you each to speak in the order I introduce you. 